Amides are byproducts of a condensation reaction between a carboxylic acid and an amine group. Now this condensation takes place between the hydroxyl group of alcohol uh, acid and the hydrogen of amine. So water comes out as your condensed molecule and the remainder is a newly formed functional group amide which is C double bond O attached to N. So this is our amide linkage and in order to name them we also have to uh, appreciate they have classification of primary, secondary and tertiary. Primary is easy, for example, if I put CH3, C double bond O, connected to nitrogen that still has two hydrogen, or it's attached to one carbon, this is primary. The name is the last name uh, of your acid. Of course, it will change into amide. So this is ethane, because you have two carbon, amide. And that's example of primary. If I give you another one, for example, make it bigger chain, CH3, CH2, CO, NH2, then this is propane because you have uh, three members, propane, amide. Now what happens if you have a secondary, then we are going to follow nomenclature of um, amines. So if you have CH3, C double bond O, now if the nitrogen has another carbon attached to it, then this is example of a secondary. The nitrogen is attached to carbon or it has one hydrogen left on it. So what we are going to do is call this other little branch uh, with attachment of italic N, N capital, methyl for that attachment, then finish it with the ending, which is longest chain of attain and meet. In case of tertiary, the nitrogen is attached to three carbons or it has no more hydrogen left on it. And then we follow the same nomenclature as amines, except we are going to have two italic ends to indicate there are two branches attached to our nitrogen in amide. So N capital comma N capital dimethyl because I have two met methyl groups and the last name is still ethanamide. So it follows the same nomenclature as your amines or ammonia related families.